This is the third video in a series documenting the do-it-yourself construction of a ground-mounted 17.4 kilowatt electric solar array. In this video, we complete the time-consuming task of carefully surveying and marking the borehole and support post locations. As tedious as it is, there's no getting around it. This task has to be done carefully and perfectly. I just finished laying out the grid that marks the position of all of the support poles. So shortly I'll be removing all the string. I have pegs on each side to reconnect the string after I'm finished uh, drilling the holes. We're going to use a mechanical auger and put down some 12 inch bore holes here. about two and a half feet with that auger and uh, we're pretty lucky here because we don't have any stone in the ground it's all silt or um, it is dirt without stone today seemed like a tedious day but we did get a lot done Yesterday and today we were setting up a lot of the level strings and uh, the grid, you know, which defines the layout of the posts. And that's um, slow and tedious work, but, but of course very important to get that done correctly. 
we finished digging all the um, bore holes today with the auger and those are all down at the proper depth we got the uh, auger turned in I was really glad I used the one with the um, wheels on it and that's called a one-man auger uh, using the one that you hold by hand would have been impossible for this so anyway, that's turned back into the rental shop and uh, picked up another 50 bags of concrete, which is about as much as my trailer can stand. So that'll get us close, I think, uh, with what we've already got. Uh, might need to get a little more, but we'll finish and see how close we are. There's the long pipes that are all ready to go into the holes. And I set up a level string. And I happened to have a tree down there that was right in the right position. So I used that as one of my posts to hold the level string. And I did find out that, you know, for a run this long, you really have to pull that nylon cord super tight to um, make it flat. Otherwise, it does have just a little bit of bow in it if you don't do that. You may remember from earlier in the video uh, where we were trenching the cable in. Uh, this is where the cable came. Uh, this is where we we uh, brought the cable back up to the surface. And we did go ahead and uh, dig out a, a hole here by hand with a post hole digger and place this first pipe. And uh, that gave me an opportunity to go ahead and get this cable into a conduit so it would be protected where it comes out of the ground. We, of course, set this vertical and in the position where it goes and set the height uh, where we wanted it with reference to the ground. Um, and, you know, that's in general here, it's about five and a quarter feet off the ground. And so we just, you know, roughly set, set that to a point that was five and a quarter feet. But now that this first pipe is set, all of the other pipes you know we'll be now as close as we can get exactly the same height as this one so when we set that that kind of defined where all the other pipes were going to be exactly and so that's where that's why we have the string now the level string running out to a tree in that direction which happened to be in the right spot and I set up a pipe and an anchor on the other end and drove that into the right height. Took a long time to get the string level, just, you know, back and forth. But uh, now we'll be able to set all the other pipes in the holes and get them at the right height. And we'll have them come up and just touch the, the level string. On the ground, I have the uh, nails large nails really large nails uh, that you know mark out the the spacing the 12 and a half foot spacing between the uh, support pipes coming up and uh, that we did yesterday before you know we started to dig the holes that was all done so <clears throat> here you can see the nail going in and then uh, I just have a coupler that I put between these two strings and then these two strings go down um, and then there's a couple of a coupler on the other end you know where the other nail is and and then there's a, a string that we'll set up tomorrow morning when we get ready to place these that runs down this, this length that defines the this side edge of where the pipe will be so we'll bring the pipe in just to touch the string this way we'll set it in there and the strings will help us get the pipes exactly where they they go um, you know on the grid and then uh, we'll bring it the pipe right up to this level string 
one time today I was sitting there working and all of a sudden the string was way out and I was trying to figure out what went wrong and uh, I was confused and I looked down the string and a, a bird had landed on it and was sitting there right on the string so I had to go shoot the bird off. Bird on a string. <laughs>